Well, airport security is pretty important, but you've got to wonder where is it all going to end? This is the final call for Trans Europe Express Flight 106. Please place your bag on the conveyor belt, then walk through the gate. <clears throat> metal. Metal. Please place all keys, change, and metal objects in the tray that Bob is holding. Uh, look, I'm really in a hurry. My parents just Please went Please place here. all keys, change, and metal objects in the tray that Bob is holding. Coins really set this thing off? Coins are metal. Plus, a coin can be a very deadly weapon. <laughs> Skip. Bob knows. He was a Marine. Great. Uh, I was kind of passing some time in the airport arcade. Please walk through the detector again. Plastic. Plastic. Please place all plastic objects in the tray that Bob is holding. It's a cheap souvenir for my girlfriend. Come on, how could a plastic Statue of Liberty be a security threat? Ever heard of plastic explosives? Well, yeah, but that's a different kind of plastic. Oh. How would you know the difference? Bob knows. He was a, a Marine. Marine. You told me. Please walk through the detector again. What now? Wood. Wood. Please place all wooden objects in the tray that Bob is holding. This pencil? Come on, how can I hurt anyone doing my homework on the plane? Drop it slowly, amigo. I could put somebody's eye with that at 30,000 feet. Okay. Look, this is really crazy. I've got to meet my parents at the gate, otherwise I'm going to miss my flight. Please walk through the detector again. Junk food. Junk food. Please place all junk food in the tray that Bob is holding. Come on. What, do you work for the Food and Drug Administration? <laughs> junk food will only spoil the dinner you'll be receiving on the plane. And what are they serving today? Well, reader, for Skip's dining pleasure, they'll be serving a choice of broiled snails dipped in garlic butter sauce or frog legs oriental. Oh. Look, I've never been checked for food before. That's something they do at the movies, not at the airport. Well, it's kind of the same thing since you'll be seeing a movie, too. And what are they showing today, Fran? Well, Skip, today's feature is Uh-Oh, the Babysitter's a Potted Plant. Sparks fly when a spunky teen finds a book of spells and transforms the babysitter into a Venus flytrap. Humorous complications ensue. <laughs> Please walk through the detector again. Look, this has got to be it. I've really got to go. I mean it. Polyester. 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 Oh, I can't wait to hear this one. Polyester shirts are out of fashion. What if you could see them next to a fashion-conscious person? It would ruin the flight for them. Look, man, it's my shirt. I'll wear what I want to, okay? Not if you're on this airline, you won't. Fine, fine. Please walk through the detector again. Look, I'll tell you guys, I haven't got much left. Pants. Okay, okay, let me guess. There's a possibility I could take my pants off in the middle of the flight, maybe tear them in half, use one leg to tap the pilot, and the other leg to tap the co-pilot, and possibly fly the plane myself, huh? No, actually, our job here is pretty boring, so we like to see how many passengers we can fool into taking their pants off. <laughs> I mean, really, who's ever heard of an airport pants detector? Thanks for the uh, laugh, Skip. Uh, we sure needed it. I'll tell you people, if I miss my flight, I'll... Uh-oh, uh could be a security threat, Bob. Hey, put those pants back on, will you? Have some respect. <laughs>